Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learning with Miss Nanhu. Today we're going to be rounding 316 to the nearest 100 using a number line. Remember, rounding is when we find numbers that are close to the exact number, but easier to work with. Let's start with 316. I first asked myself, what multiples of 100 come before and after the number 316 on a number line? If I count by 100, I know the 100 that comes before 316 is 300, and the 100 that comes after is 400. So I'm going to go ahead and plot that on my number line. I'm also going to plot my midpoint, or my halfway point, which in this case is 350. Next, I'm going to draw 10 tick marks between the two numbers to represent the distance between those two numbers counting by tens. We count by tens to save time. Now we need to mark the number we are rounding on the number line. This number is 316, so I will make a mark in between the first and second tick mark on the number line because this is about where this number would be. Finally, I will count the number of tick marks between 36 and each multiple of 10 on the number line. The fewer the tick marks, the closer the number is to that interval. Because rounding is finding the interval closest to that number, we round to the multiple of 100 closest to that number when rounding to the nearest 100. When I count from 316, I can see that the number is closer to the interval 300. This means 316 rounded to the nearest 10 is 300.